Hi everyone, Christina and Allison here again for the box reviewers and today we are opening another Mission Cute box. I believe this is the July box. I was on vacation so things got a little delayed. I have a bunch of boxes I have to catch up on so I'm going to try and get them all done today um, so we can get them posted quickly. And this month the box is nice light blue. It says Mission Cute like always. And then we open it and it's bright pink paper and you can see I kind of ruffled it a little bit because I opened it a little bit before I left for vacation because this actually showed up the day that I left. <laughs> um, so I took a peek but I didn't look at everything. I just looked at the top. So that's what it looks like. And let's see what we got in here. First we have a really long bendy straw. Don't quite know what it's for. I'm assuming there's a mug or something in there to use it for but it's neon green. I'm okay with that. All right and next up we have, what is this? Mavi Bands, Adjustable Non-Slip Headbands. It's M-A-V-I-B-A-N-D-Z dot com. And this doesn't look like a headband. So I'm gonna pull it out. Let's see, like that. It's also got a coupon for Mission Cute um, subscribers on it. So uh, this is like a lanyard, a mini lanyard. Um, but if this is what their headbands are made of, or um, especially this top fabric, because I love that top fabric. Look, even my nails match so pretty. So, but I might use, I might use this on my keys. Um, it'll come in handy to find them in my pocketbook. Um, I usually use a carabiner clip because it hooks right on. But sometimes if I'm wearing, carrying my backpack or something instead of a pocketbook, I, it'll be nice to have this in there. So, and it's sturdy. It's like that really thick canvas stuff. And then it's got that really pretty fabric on top that I absolutely love. So it'll come in handy. All right, next up. Now Mission Cute every month sends you a five by seven card that you can um, frame or hang or whatever. And it's got a nice little quote on it, um, affirmation or inspirational. And um, they also, every month, focus on a nonprofit. They um, let you know that, you know, you get to vote on it as a subscriber. You get to help decide which which nonprofit gets their, um, their focus every month. And this month it's American Autoimmune Related Diseases Association Incorporated. It says, thank you to all who nominated and voted on this amazing organization. Over 50 million Americans are impacted by an autoimmune related disease that is one in five people. Um, let's see, it's uh, AARDA.org. Um, as someone who could possibly have an autoimmune disease, I'm going through all kinds of testing and stupid stuff like that. Trying to narrow down what might be going on with me, um, I really appreciate that this was the, um, the July focus uh, because there's so many people out there with autoimmune diseases or similar um, chronic pain, chronic illness. You know, just it, there's so many. Once you start searching, uh, you realize that it's a huge community with so many little mini facets and stuff. It's just crazy how many people have um, these kinds of problems. So I really like that you focused on the autoimmune community. So check them out, aarda.org, um, and see if you how you can help. But the quote on the other side says, you can never cross the ocean unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. And isn't that, the, isn't that right? If you don't jump, if you don't have faith that something out there is better for you or good for you, you'll never know. You have to, you have to get away from the shore to find out what's out there in the sea. So this is really cool. I like that. I will be hanging that one up. All right. Oh, now I see why we got the, the straw. It's a pineapple. All right, what do we got here? Get it open. And it says, wash thoroughly before and after each use. But yeah, it's a little pineapple, a little cup thing. Got a little mangled in the box. It'll it'll mellow out after a little bit. I know that because I've gotten these kinds of things before. And sometimes the plastic just needs time to, to settle. Um, stick in the dishwasher, warm it up, then put it together. It'll stay. Hot water, anything. But yeah, it's got a little hole. You put your little straw in there, kick back with a little drink, and enjoy your summer. Cute. I like that. Garbage. All right. And then we have a detangle brush. These little brushes, I love these little brushes. Always have. These little, little teeny tiny, we always call them vent brushes. Um, actually, this doesn't have the little holes in the bottom, so maybe it's not a vent brush, but I still call them vent brushes. We used to, in the 80s, these were like the bomb. This was, if you weren't, when it went from you carrying a little comb in your back pocket to this, you were like, you were grown up because you used the brush instead of a comb. And I always have a use for these, well, 
shorter hair, but still, this is perfect for my hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like the brush. We're okay there. All right, next up, we got a Nature's Bakery Stone Ground Whole Wheat Fig Bar in Raspberry. Oh, and it's two little bars in here. That's good. Ooh, raspberry. Hmm, I've never had a fig in raspberry. Okay, let's see what the ingredients are, if I can read it. Stone ground whole wheat flour, fig paste, cane sugar syrup, brown rice syrup, canola oil, raspberry paste, um, glycerin, rice starch, raspberries, apple powder, natural flavor. Everything's fairly natural. Yeah, everything's natural, it looks like. Awesome. Okay, so it's a one ounce bar. Serving sizes is two. Uh, 90 calories. That's not bad. Fat, fat calories is 20. Um, if you're doing like a, a low carb, no carb diet, um, let's see, the total carbs are 17, but the fiber is two, so that gives you 15 net carbs. So if you decide, you know, you want to spurge one day, go for it. But I can't wait to try it because I like Fig Newtons. I'm not a big, um, I'm usually not very big on, on added flavors to things that I already like. So I don't like flavored coffee. I don't like flavored tea. Um, like the special like chamomile and stuff like that teas. I have to really want them or need them to actually drink them. I just like black pico tea. <laughs> I'm simple that way. Coffee, just a little cream, a little sugar. I'm good to go. No flavors. Chocolate maybe once in a while, but that's it. But oh, I want to open it, but I don't want it. It's very soft, so I don't want it to get hard. I'm going to try that later. So yummy. Treats are always good. Okay, this looks like this might be the last thing in the box. Oh, I think I know what this is. I have something I have something similar. If it's what I think it is. Ooh, that's a different fabric though. Maybe it's not. I thought it was like one of those round beef blanket things. I know I'm crinkling in the microphone, sorry. But it's it's like a silky. It's very silky. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know if it's considered a hanging thing or a blanket. Oh my! This would look so cool on a table. Look at this! Oh, I love it! I love it! I love it! Oh, that is so pretty. What? What's got? Oh, I gotta show you some of the stuff. See the elephants? And I'm not sure, but that to me looks like peacocks, which I love peacocks. And what else we got? Oh yeah, we got other birds on the bottom. But it's a beautiful color. I love the edges. I like it when the edges are like that, but they're connected. I like how it's got the, the thing there so they don't go all crazy and stuff. You hang that over a, a round table or something, oh, that'll be so pretty. And it is, it's very slinky, like, a, how do I want to say it? Um, not silky, but uh, you know those really, really, really cheap sheets you can get at like job lots or something like that? Um, and they're always they always feel kind of slinky a little bit that's what this makes me think of but it's it's nice for this uh, you know I don't like them for sheets on my bed but this is perfect for like a, a table cover or to lay on the ground have a little picnic on or something but this is gorgeous and it's a big size very big bigger than me <laughs> so oh can't wait to figure out what I'm gonna do with it I have several ideas so that was mission cute um, just a couple things. I it seems to have like a beachy theme. Um, that's right. They, I, I don't think they ever like give us an actual theme, but they all things usually go together. But if you look at it all with the the snack, the brush, the pineapple, the blanket hanging, whatever you want to call it, the lanyard, the straw obviously goes with the drink thing. Um, it's all like going out to the beach and you know taking care of yourself. But it's all cute stuff. And then of course they mention the ocean here, so that's what I get out of it. It's kind of a beachy feel. And I like that. So thank you so much, Mission Cute. I'm so sorry that it came so late. Um, I hope we're still in that, you know, that range of it being okay. But I wanted to get it done before I left, but the box, like I said, showed up the day we were leaving. I, did, I was too busy packing and trying to get to the airport and everything with, you know, taking care of three people and the dogs and everything else. So um, I didn't get a chance to do it. So um, if you like Mission Cute, go check them out. Uh, there'll be a list of the items below linked if we can find a place online that has them. If not, you know, just go to Mission Cute and see if they have any leftover boxes if you want this. Um, I love that that table cover. That's I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, but to me that's a table cover. I love it. So thanks so much, Mission Cute. Have a great day. Bye.